Hey guys, welcome to SEMA. All right, not SEMA, we're at the Nevada desert and we are here because of this, check it out. It is a completely badass Silverado that has been completely customized by Chevy with a full list of performance parts and accessories. And coming up next, we're gonna take it for a ride and we're gonna see how you can build your own version of this truck. And we're gonna call this the uh, Trail Dictator because it's a step above the Trail Boss. Hey guys, welcome to this very interesting episode of the Fast Lane Truck because we are here in, uh, what's the name of this town? I can never pronounce Perump. it. Perump. Perump, Perump, just outside of Vegas, <laughs> just before SEMA. And I'm here with Andre and Jennifer Goforth, who is an engineer with Chevy. Yes. And we are in what is uh, the brand spanking new 2016 Chevy Silverado. Well, there's no name for it, but it's got all the accessories, right? Yeah. So it's Z71, right? The Z71, it, yeah. It is. So it's it's basically it's a concept truck. We we put together many of our aftermarket accessories um, and put it into this great looking package. All right, so what makes this a custom, a personalized by you custom truck? Well, I've got the list of parts right here. There, you can look at all of them. But the most expensive part on that list right here are the wheels and tires. Come on, check them out. Look at that. I love this um, textured uh, sidewall that kind of wraps around. That's actually not only good looking, but it's really practical because oftentimes you'll hit a rock when you're off-roading and that'll keep the sidewall to some extent protected. So we've got some high country Silverados here and Z71s. Yes, we do. And and, and also the, just the 1500 LTs as well. So we've got a uh -huh. nice, nice portfolio of, of all of our offerings and we've just added the right uh, performance parts and accessories to, to show you the, the capability that they add to the truck. And each one of them gets a unique grill, right? And mm -hmm. some other touches. Yes, so each one has a, a little different look. Mm -hmm. So why does this, you know, that bar in the front, you guys are calling it a nudge bar. Yes. I've, I've heard it called a rhubarb mm -hmm. in Australia. I've heard it called a brush guard. Yes. Also a bull bar. A bull bar, mm -hmm. yeah. Why yes. did you go with nudge bar? Who are we I, nudging? <laughs> you know, I would have to, I'd have to defer to my marketing folks to, in terms okay. of what they're, um, how. Almost looks like a police truck, you know? It's something like a police truck with uh, yeah. America. America, where are you? You know, one of the one of the great things though about our nudge bar is that because we're you know working with the production program teams, we've ensured that it's properly integrated not only for the right fitment, but also that we're, it works in conjunction with our airbag deployment system, so it doesn't compromise that at all. Let's look over here, right here. There's the nudge bar, and the cool thing about that nudge bar is not only does it look cool, but it's actually integrated with the airbags in the truck. So if you hit somebody. You will not necessarily not have the airbags go off. Another little, and that by the way, the nudge bar, I'm curious how much that is. It's um, $595. This bow tie, the blacked out bow tie, that's a $120 option. It's completely black. You can also get that as a backlit option on the new Camaro. It actually shines right through. Question about the, um an emblem that is kind of backlit. Yeah, yeah. Is that for the Camaro only, or uh, t tell tell me more about that? Yeah, so you the know, Chevy emblem. That's what we're talking the, about. Yeah, the, the Chevy bow tie. Yeah. So, yeah. so the Chevy bow tie we're launching with the all new sixth generation Camaro for our customers on that product. It's all about personalization, and you can see that they do a lot of things with aftermarket parts in the illumination space. So, we have seen a lot of um, aftermarket lit bow ties that aren't ours and we said boy we can really do a much better job okay. so we have developed with our supplier it's actually our patent a patented technology that illuminates through the chrome what, so what you get there okay. is you get a great looking you know bow tie when it's not lit and then when it is lit it just it really has some nice um, really how does it work well. it works with the headlights or so it works with both the daytime running lights and when the headlights are on that's why we do you know the 1.5 million cycles because okay. it, it turns on and off every time you drive the vehicle, okay. whether it's daytime or night. 
Oh, you're, not, you're not the first OEM to do that, right? We are not the first OEM to do an illuminated emblem, yeah. but we are the first, you know, like I said, we have this patent to light through the chrome. That is a new technology that we developed. Yeah, because I've seen that Mercedes. Yes. Yeah. What they do, though, is they illuminate behind okay. the chrome. Okay, so they backlight it. Let's look under the hood. Of course, there's a 5.3 liter V8 as soon as I find it. There it is. That's not unusual. What is unusual is right here. Check it out. It's an air intake. But more importantly, it's hooked up to also an aftermarket Chevy Performance exhaust, which increases your power by 10%, no, 10 horsepower, by 10 horsepower, so you get 10 more horsepower. Of course, some other things on the truck that I'm looking around are um, Chevy uh, roof-mounted sports bar lamps that's a 995 dollar option back there um, and uh, those are integrated into the truck so that there's now a little switch that's hanging out it's just right there where you normally turn on the lights on the sport bar we've got off-road yeah. lights yep. um, and we, you know we work with a with a partner that does a lot of off-road lights um, those are really big they they are yeah. they've got great illumination with LED they're very clear crisp um, and they're done in conjunction with um, with the product, so you can. You, we actually have a, a button that's on the IP on both the Silverado and Colorado, where you can turn it on. So it's it certainly looks like it's fully integrated in the vehicle. It, it makes you gives you the impression that it was, you know, part of the production truck. Oh, we have those lights on, on this truck, don't we? We do. So how do we turn them on? Where's the where's yeah? The so there's on the left side there are two knobs. Yeah. And you just press and hold for five seconds. Oh, I see. There's like little yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So it looks like it's built right into the truck. Absolutely. Let's go back here. More mats, but you know, you can get those pretty much anywhere. You don't need the Chevy. Uh, let's keep going here. Yeah, the, license the plate. The sports bar is separate? Yeah. So you get the sports bar and then the lights. Yeah, they're, they're different. And this, Andre, you get the license plate holder in black with chrome performance lettering and bow tie. Let's look at I, that. I gotta get that. You gotta get that. And it's in the front. Oh, it's back here. Yeah, we are gonna go to the... Wait, hold on. This? No. No, that's nothing. That must be in the front. Let's look in the front. That can't be right. That cannot be right because that's a $29 option. You think that little piece of plastic is $29? Let's go in the front. You also have the steps. We have the steps. Well, apparently that is a $29 option because there is no license plate on here. <laughs> so if you really want the Blacked Out Performance uh, license plate mount, it's going to cost you $29. Yeah. Um, and there you have it, what we are calling the Silverado Trail Dictator. But it's because of our approach to accessories that we design our accessories from the beginning at the time that the production vehicle is being developed. And then we engineer and test them to the same production standards as our production vehicles. And because of that, we offer a full warranty um, on our accessories and we keep the vehicle warranty intact. Yeah, so like notice like the truck in front of us has uh, snowboard with a rack, right? And that's something yes. that you guys have designed. Absolutely. So we launched the Giron, wrote the Giron system on yep. the Colorado, and it was so well received. Our customers love it, and it's very, it's really exceeded our expectations. So we're beginning rolling out many of our Giron products on the Silverado vehicles. All right, guys, I did some quick math, and if you look over here, if you add all this up, it's almost $10,000 worth of Chevy Performance parts and accessories. But if you want a truck that's unique and is the trail dictator, well, then maybe this is your way to customize your truck to take it up and beyond and above the regular thing that you can get at the dealership. As always, this is Roman and Andre back there behind the camera saying thanks for watching, and check out tfltruck.com for more news, use, and, of course, Chevy Performance parts and accessories reviews. See you next time. Ciao. Or let's face it, this is basically a dirt road. This is not going to, uh, in any way or shape or form, test how good off road this truck is. But uh, it feels really solid, and that's important because um, you want all those important bits to be attached very firmly. Absolutely. And when they're not, then this truck starts to feel like it's put together in, in many different parts, where mm -hmm. this truck feels like it's made in one part. Absolutely. And it's, you know, you feel very connected, um, I think, and, and it also gives you the confidence that you're going down the road.